Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get on and grind these bevels out. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. So as you can see, the bevels are already ground and the hormones are even put in. Which, whoo, man, these hormones came out real nice. But we'll get to that. That's what this video is all about, grinding these bevels down. Then for the next video, I'm going to start on the handles. I got this for one of them. And this for the other. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Let's get to it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I'll put my website link up in the cards and it's the first in the description. Let's just get to it. It's been a few weeks since I heat treated these and all that. Uh, my friend said he wanted it from 3.5 millimeters is what this is exactly down to one millimeter. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to distal taper this. I got that. That's pretty much a little bit under a millimeter. I was trying to figure out a way to mark it, but I just couldn't get it straight. So we're just going to have to kind of wing it. Which one do I want to do? Let's start off with the one that's all, that I messed up already. Then we'll get to that. I got a 36 brand new on here. Since we're not breaking 90s, we don't have to worry about it. We're just, I'm just gonna put the whole flat thing in, take it down to that line and see where we're at. We're going from like three, four to three, one, eight to two, four, three. So we'll just have to keep going. I don't like to bring out my good calipers, which I got these down on the Amazon link with the cheap calipers. I had to put it on millimeter. <laughs> We're at 3.5 here, 3 right there, 2, 8, and then 1, 9. So I'm going to leave it like that, and we'll start grinding the bevels in. Since we've already worn this 36 in, let's go ahead and just break the 90s and get to it. I was going to hit it like this, you know, flat grind it, but we're doing bevels, so we'll see. <laughs> that taper was slowing me off because I was like, wait, why is it going down like that? <laughs> you can see I even went back and made it untapered. <laughs> I even went back and 
corrected the angle to make it look like it wasn't. <laughs> just for my head, not for you guys. You guys want it to look like this. <laughs> all right, let's get all these bevels. Even though this is my first kitchen knife, I'm just kind of taking it like, uh, I'm taking it in parts. So I'm getting this done, then I'm moving it. That way I'm holding it just like a regular knife. If a knife is a lot bigger than you're used to, you got I usually do like, what, four or five inch blades. Break it down to that. You know, just don't, don't hit here, hit here, and hit here. You know, you gotta blend it as you go. I did that with the Bowie too. And so sitting there trying to do the whole thing at once, it's easier to, for me. Now maybe you like it all the way through. You gotta experiment with these things. Also, I got that swoop here, so I hung it over just for this part. But I'm not pressing a lot here. I'm just putting it in here. Once I get to here, then I'm, you know, evening out the belt and pulling it through. You know what? I think I am gonna put it on this so I can distinguish my lines from my uh, distal taper lines. Just see what it looks like. The funny thing is, in this case, I actually want to put more pressure here so it distal tapers straight. See, we're missing a little bit, so yeah, we just gotta hit it till we distal taper it straight, then we'll come back. I guess I should have done that in the first place, but this kind of lets us know what we're doing. There we go. <laughs> All right, back to the bubbles. Ah. 
I'm gonna do the other side for Instagram, then I'll be back on this one. This is, uh, I, I messed up a few things on this one, and it actually had a bow in there I couldn't get out. So I figured, uh, if I'm gonna wreck one, I'm gonna wreck it, but I think I got it out. I'll be back. <sighs> so next day, I realized I made a big old mistake. I distal tapered this. If you guys watch my videos, you know I make two lines, and then as I go up, I bring them closer and closer till it's almost one line. But now that this is a distal taper, I can't strike a center line anymore. <laughs> I think, since this is the good knife, and I'll strike a center line on this. I might even do three lines, we'll see. Cause this already has double lines on it. But what I think I'm gonna do is, for this side, I'll use this line and then break it in half, you know, so that'll come to the center. But this will, this line should keep it straight. And then I'll flip it over and I'll just, you know, cause this is gonna be a zero grind anyway. I'll just have to go right to that straight line. Hopefully. It should be the same as striking the center line. Uh, anyway. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I got an 80 on here. I wasn't do 120, but this is pretty hard, so uh, no use in wearing out the 120 till I need to. Here we go. There we go, nice and straight, so we should be good. I'm gonna keep the 80, and then uh, we'll go up to 120. Here we go. So there's one side, I'm just going to do the other the same and then I'll be back and we'll see how it is. I think I, this is just going to be basically the same as what I just showed so I'll have to do this one off camera. Then we'll come back and I'll show you both of them. Alright, so here's what I did. Let's see if we get some light on this subject. So here's what I did. I had those two lines on there that were apart and I broke the 90s down to them and then restruck a center line. Now it is still two lines because, but they're real close together. And then I distal tapered this down to nothing. You know, hit it like I did the other one. I just thought I'd put that in there. You know, that's why I make two knives when it's something I haven't done before. I messed up the first one and figured out how to fix it. And it worked out good. But now I know to break the 90, strike the line, then do the distal taper so you have the center line. All right, we got a 120 on here. Let's just refine it down. And then we'll go to A65 and all that good stuff.
So I'm just gonna go up to, uh, like, like I said, I'll come back at like uh, 8.30 or maybe even 1,000 or 2,000 because it's just gonna be the same thing over and over for both knives. I should have done this. This is a knife that uh, came out real good. And this is the one that I've been practicing on and all that, so. <laughs> but, that's all right. As long as they both end up reasonably about the same. <laughs> I'll be back. We're bumped to a thousand. I don't know if it's going to be showing here, but man, I can see the hamon real nice. Actually, this is the one you can see the hamon. But, uh, I haven't even hit it on the mirror yet. This is the A30, but... This one, you can really see the hamon, even though it's not going to show on camera. <laughs> it really, really pops. But all right, I did this one on the last part, so uh, let's do this. <laughs> 1,000. I'm gonna come back on 2000 with the other one. We'll just switch them back and forth. <laughs> Woo. I don't know how we can see that. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to see ourselves. <laughs> Once I get my dirty fingers off of it. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. There we go, 2000 grit, and then I'm calling it a night. <laughs> Here we go. So that's it for there, 2000, I'm gonna do the other one. We can even see ourselves. Like I said, if I keep my fingers off it, we can see us. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. All right, so I figured I'd show this before I went and buffed it out. I'll put a playlist up here with all how I do all my hormones and stuff like that and all the tests I've done on hormones. I'm not gonna go through that, but we'll just see. I just wanna see how, it, this is the one I actually dropped. I don't know what happened here, but I kind of like it and I tested it and it's over a 60. So we're good. I might have to drop a few more. <laughs> yeah, and it did it on both sides and the clay was different. If you go back and watch that last video. But uh, yeah, so I'm interested to see what happened and why it happened and all that. But time to buff this one out. This one came out real sweet. Can't get more perfect than that. All right, I'll be back when I uh, buff them out and all that. We'll see what they look like. Of course, I can't stone wash it because I don't have anything big enough to put these in, but uh, we'll see what we can do. There we go. Boom. Yeah. Wipe this one off a little bit more. <laughs> there we go. 
Man. And this is the one that dropped. So, yeah, I don't know what happened back here. I guess when it dropped forward, then I stuck it in, but... It, so it's a little bit, uh, came down farther or something. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. And here, this one came out almost perfect. Boom. Boom. So there we go. Next is handles, and then, uh... See where we take it from there. All right, whew, so that's about it. Yeah, man, <laughs> Can't wait to get on these handles. Got them all ready, good stuff. I even got a thing from Black Dragon Forge to do the handles and all that, so that should be the next video, getting them all cut out and bored out and whatever we need to do to get them together and looking right and ground down. Gotta say, I'm happy with this Hamones. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Remember, my website link is up in the cards and the first in the description. I got Instagram down there on the description. On my website, I got shirts like this, a few knives, Amazon links, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you all having a great day. And as always, take it easy.